welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna to be reacting to Nikki performance Barbie Dangerous at Fuck the Club at her Pink Friday 2 tour in New York. I think Barclays Center is in New York, I believe. Yeah, Brooklyn. Okay. <laughs> At that time of the year, that one 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 angel numbers was popular because uh, remember Chris Brown just dropped an album with one 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 one, like I, I think a month before her or something. Like she dropped mm -hmm. in December, I think. And Chris Brown, he dropped on one 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 one. I think he dropped on uh, November eleventh. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, th that number was popular back then. <laughs> the angle and everything mm -hmm. I just wish we got a little more zoom because we're not really seeing her like that like I wish you know she was a little closer mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess he has it like that to kind of include the backups but yeah and the ambiance I, I don't really care for the backup so I wanted Nikki <laughs> I do like the stage and though it looks mm -hmm. like a Barbie uh, dream house. factory. Oh. You think dream house? I mean like a factory because you see there's like a robot mm. on the top left is like a It's supposed to be inspired by Gag City. What is Gag City? Her world Gag City? That was the hashtag Gag City. But what is it though? <laughs> So, a city? Ah, right. And you gagging. Um, I am gagging, yes, I am gagging right about that. <laughs> first song i said oh like there's no backup dancers no nothing i think that i said yeah. that so they came out okay that's good yeah that's great you not, now you don't want them. no it's not that i don't want them it's great that they're there i just mm -hmm. I, this is exactly the frame i want mm -hmm. i want a little closer nikki couple back the background dancers there too but i don't want like i barely see nikki and i'm watching background dancers mm -hmm. dance you know <laughs> Like a, almost like a robot, the way she did that movement. Mm. <laughs> 
I think that's the idea because we, we keep seeing that robot in the part mm -hmm. of the set. I think it is supposed to be robotic because even the outfits kind of give like a little robot action, like the color that silver. <laughs> This part like is the most controversial part because there was this guy on TikTok who came up with the choreo for this part and it went viral. But I don't know why it so didn't work out. So she's doing his choreo. Yeah, it was his choreo that was popular on social media for that part in particular. But I don't know how what happened after why things didn't work out with this uh, dancer. I think something about getting credit, getting paid for that the dance. Because it's so signature to this part in particular. But just because you come off with the dance, though, it's not like you pat and I, I don't know if it's kind I don't of. Know. Works for like me, that. I think it's like uh, you hire choreographers to come off your routines and you pay them. This was like such a viral dance routine that became so like associated with this song. I think the guy could have got like a somewhat of a credit. I don't know how she handled it, how she resolved it. I think they, she offered her some, so, offered the person something, but I guess it was like. A I mean, what I would probably offer in that case, I would offer like tickets to the concert, some merch maybe, or something like that, like something, like as a thank you. I wouldn't pay cat like money. I wouldn't give money. Really? Yeah, I would probably offer like you know an opportunity, like VIP pass to a concert mm. in the city that the person lives, something like that. To meet Nikki, like she can thank mm -hmm. him, whatever. I, I don't think I would sometimes, offer cash. Sometimes people want their bills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't think it's that. I don't know, cause like, how do you even know? Like, in social media, how do you know where it originates to begin no, with? No, it was he was the originator. Like, he was the one who started mm -hmm. went viral, and she acknowledges him too as well. So, if she acknowledges him, that's on, on enough promo. If Nikki shouts him out on her profiles with mm -hmm. the millions, I don't know of how they. I don't know how they resolve it. I feel honestly. like that's enough promo for him. I just anything. remember every time I see that move, I just think of him. Because when you think about it on social media, she doesn't need it. She doesn't need like routines to get her song push, but it does help. No, I'm not saying the guy did anything wrong, but at the same time, I don't necessarily think she she was mm -hmm. obligated to pay him. That's I what I'm saying. I wonder if there's like a YouTube video explain that that we can react to because that was very interesting and that's not the first time something like that has happened i i would be more interested if there's like a, something from legal side about how it should be handled legally if there's like i mean in terms of like yeah. the you know tr rights if you own any rights if you come over mm -hmm. the dance because i don't know so i can't say for sure but my reasoning is that i don't know if that's something you can like because then by that logic, everybody who repeats that dance on TikTok should pay him too. Which, how is that any different than Nikki? No, but the issue here? with social media, the people want credit like for the dance routine. Because we have seen, like right. for example, Addison Rae, her growth to popularity is that she would do these dance moves on TikTok. But where she got the dance moves originated not from her, but from other I, sources. I understand and I agree that he should get credit, but you did say that Nikki gave him credit, so he got what well, he wanted. Well, credit, I don't know how, to what level was his credit. There was some sort of conversation, but I don't know to what extent it was and if he was satisfied with it, if she was satisfied with it too as well. <laughs> Guys, if you know a video that ref references this whole situation with the dance part for that for this song, please leave the link in our Discord and we'll react to it. If it's not like a, an hour long video. I mean, it shouldn't be an hour long video.
let me uh, see if she's gonna perform old songs in this. I think she does. Big Bird, Big Bird, Feel Myself, American R&B. Okay, High School is old song, right? Yeah. yeah Good Wayne, Chun Li, Ruby the Sleeves. Okay, so she does a do old song. Fifty Cent Surprise Medley. We have reacted to several. Mm-hmm. Uh, super bass. Oh, she does the hits too. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Guys, of course, let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord. And as always, 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 share as much kindness as possible.